Jeep fans and TFL viewers. In this video, we're going to take you on a tour of the Toledo North Assembly Plant, which is responsible for building every single Wrangler JL that is sold in over 105 countries. With 204,269 Jeep Wranglers sold through October of 2018, the Wrangler is enjoying its best sales year ever, surpassing the record it set back in 2015. So Jeep brought us out to see exactly where the Wrangler comes from, and we didn't get a tour of the entire plant, but we did see some of the key areas where the Wrangler is brought to life. Now our tour begins at what is the beginning and the end of chassis assembly. Over to the left, you can see these battery self-guided carts, or AGVs as they are called by Jeep. They are bringing fully assembled chassis to the end of the line, while over to the right, you can see that the raw chassis are just beginning assembly. Each one of the AGVs can travel at up to 120 feet per minute and they all have a stopping accuracy within 0.25 inches. Each AGV is able to carry up to 3,500 pounds. Now the entire idea behind Toledo North is to present each part and process to the employees in the most ergonomically friendly way possible. Oh, and here's a tidbit to make sure you're paying attention. How many two-door Wrangler models can you spot in this video? Now, Jeep says that the sales split between four-door and two-door is about 80-20 these days, so there aren't too many two-door models out there. So let us know in the comments below how many two-doors you can spot in the video. Next up, we saw the robotic frame transfer robot. Now, this is the largest industrial robot available anywhere in the world. It can lift up to 5,070 pounds, and the robot itself weighs nearly 25,000 pounds. Now, the reach on this thing is 12 feet, with an accuracy range within 0.0625 inches. Now, Jeep says that using a robot like this is easier to maintain than a traditional conveyor system while a robot can also accommodate different sizes of vehicle models easily thanks to its infrared vision. And don't forget there are 12 different Wrangler frame variations and they're all built totally jumbled up so this thing could be picking up a four-door Rubicon and then next a two-door Sport and it has to be able to adjust to lift the different frames. The next station is probably the most fun to watch. It's called body and chassis decking, and it's essentially where the body meets the frame. Now, the fully automated machine mates the two pieces, which are then secured with bolts that the robot fastens. The torque on each one of the bolts is monitored, and the machine is able to track exactly how the frame and the body come together. Next we got to see how the windshields are installed. Now only one worker is required to place the windshields onto this conveyor and then the robots take over. Now watch as the robot lays down a bead of urethane that will be used to bond the window to its frame. Now using a machine for this process allows the bead to be the exact same every time and here you can see another sensor system which looks at the bead to make sure it's exactly perfect. Using robots for this urethane process ensures that you're going to have minimal leaks and minimal road noise. Now on the way to the next station, we pass an interesting long set of intertwined tracks. Now this is a section of the line which allows Jeep to move certain models ahead or certain models behind in production. And the final station we visited is called the Rotisserie Skillet. Now because the Wrangler is convertible and an off-road machine, that means that special attention has to be paid to the underside and the roof. Now this big skillet can rotate the Jeeps 90 degrees to make sure that everything is easily accessible on the bottom and on the top of the Wrangler for the folks working on the line. 
Oh, and one other area we saw was the final validation area. So here you can see workers up and down this line closely inspect every single Wrangler that comes off the line, which are then taken on immediate test drives to make sure everything is working properly. So that's it for our tour. Now this is not the entire assembly process, but this is as much as Jeep wanted to show us. So first of all, thanks to Jeep for letting us into the plant. And I just want to take a second to say that being inside a manufacturing plant of this size is remarkable. All the moving parts just come together in such a beautiful harmony, uh, and it's incredible to watch all of these really intricate little details be taken care of so well. Now Jeep says it takes roughly 24 hours to build a Wrangler and from this factory in Toledo these Jeeps are ready to tackle the Rubicon Trail. Oh, yeah. It looks like it shouldn't go away. So as always guys, hit subscribe and come back here to TFL for the latest news, views, and real world reviews.